What's up, gang? It is I, Carlton Flowers, your crypto pro. Yay! And today we definitely need to talk some Bitcoin action as we see the big uh, drop that happened yesterday. This nice, big, fat red candle that's going on. And I wanted to talk about what we can possibly expect to see in the coming days and weeks. But before we start, please be advised that this is definitely not financial advice. You do your own due diligence and consider this as just my opinion and telling you what my thoughts are on what we could possibly see with the price action, but this is not trading advice. So here we are on the four hour chart. Let's just run straight through from the four hour to the one day and the one week. And as we can see on the four hour, we are flattening out right here. We're starting to do the little side band trick. And we notice that we have completely blasted through the point of control price. Now, this is the point of control around, around this big volume node right here at around 23,000 and change. And it's rather concerning that we did not find support there because you can see that the 200 exponential moving average had lined up with the point of control price at this huge volume node. And what did Bitcoin do? It went straight through it. It didn't even stop. It didn't take a break. It didn't breathe, not even a pause. So that is concerning and tells me that this was some seriously violent momentum to the downside as we have had some reports of whales selling massive amounts of Bitcoin. Now, what are they doing? Possibly trying to shake the market up so they can drive price down and find a lower entry point to load up before the next bull run. And it could also be something connected to the Silvergate fiasco. And if you don't know about Silvergate, you need to YouTube that because it is something that uh, is negative and has happened as a result of the FTX debacle. And Silvergate stock is plummeting. Silvergate Bank, and they have connections to crypto. I'm not really well versed on it and I'm just studying into it right now, but I can tell you that it probably is a factor in what we are seeing here. Now on the stochastic, we see right here that we have a possible crossover where the blue line looks like it wants to cross over the red slow line, orange slow line. And if that happens, maybe we could cycle up. So best case scenario, we get uh, a crossover of that stochastic and then maybe price jumps back to the point of control. But the uh, chart down below, the indicator down below says, au contraire, mon frere. Right here on the MACD action, we see that we are very divergent with the fast line and the slow line and headed downstairs. We're in a negative direction here with the oscillators and we are printing red bars on the histogram and the only good thing is that the most recent one is a light red which says possible reversal of momentum to the zero line so this kind of is you know from the four hour chart no big deal honestly we could have the same thing that uh happens here on several of the uh previous times that we have seen a big fat red candle form look at this one right here so we capitulated down and that candle here is bigger than the one that we see right now and what did it do it went all the way back up to the top of that box which is at around what i need to scrunch this down a little bit so we can see it the top of this box it wicked all the way up to twenty-five thousand, and then we just consolidated after that and then we had this uh, side banding up until now. Now, will we have that same recovery? I don't know. If we crawl back up to the purple dashed line, we could find out, is it resistance or support? So this, is, this could be the action channel if we recover. 
And we also notice that we've got the 50 EMA that is floating around in here that it rejected on exactly. And so if we do recover, that 50 EMA could be a resistance. And so could the purple dashed line if we make it up there, which right now, based on the next two charts that I'm going to show you, I don't know if we make it up there. So let's move on to the one day. One day chart looks ugly, very ugly. And what it tells us is we had a nice slight little break where we wicked down below and snapped back up to the 50 EMA. Okay, so the 50 EMA is coming on up and it's crossing over bullishly over a top of the 200 EMA, but that's going to get snatched back down because this is a lagging thing. The last 200 periods and the last 50 periods of the one day chart, we get an average and you plot points along a line. So all of this action that we had from this recovery here to this big move upward, that's why you see both of these lines moving up. So we can't really say that this little cross here is definitely a bullish cross. Uh, we could get smacked in the face from that. We also have a very bearish stochastic. This is pointing straight down. It's not even curling over. The fast line is diverging away from the slow line. We had this little fake out cross here and it unfurled and went straight down. So we are headed with strong momentum down into the oversold zone. And we also have the oscillators on the MACD are diverging. Look at that blue line curling down, moving away from the slower orange line. And we also have a solid red instead of a light red bar on the histogram. That says our momentum is headed downward. So we have bearish stochastic, bearish MACD action. And looking upstairs, there's nothing here. If these two indicators are saying the momentum is downward, we're not looking at popping back up to the POC price, point of control price at this big fat volume node. What we're looking at is bearish momentum. So this could be headed downstairs and it might be trying to jump back into this bearish trading channel that we broke out of before. So what could happen next? Well, if we get into the thick of this volume node, which is now pulling price down, I would look for what happens at the 200 EMA. Right now, it doesn't look like this touchdown and wick on the 50 EMA is going to hold. The next spot would be the 200. If that does not hold, guess what, folks? We're headed back downstairs to the thick of this volume node, which occurs at the red dash line. Yeah, so that's going to be scary. And then at that point, we're going to find out if we go downstairs and violate the red dash line and jump down to the point of control price of what we see on the visible range with this chart at 16,000. Now, there's talk of possibly revisiting the complete bottom right here. And that's that's just at, what, 14,000 and change. But let's look at the uh, one week chart and see what it looks like. Okay, so the one week at first, looking at this a few days ago, I thought we were going to have a fake out and a move up. Look at that stochastic. First, we had the bearish cross right there. And then the blue line had touched the orange line. It looked like it was going to curl back up, but no, you can see they're slightly diverging. If this plays out and we go back downstairs to oversold, then anything can happen. We can violate the red dash line. We can go to the black dotted line of death. And if we violate the black dotted line of death, well, by all means, we could be revisiting the previous bottom point at 14,000 and change. If we violate that, then we have the possibility of the capitulation down to 11,000 and change. Is it possible? Yes. Is it probable? Not as much as hitting this bottom point here. If we can get down to 14,000, that's when I go crazy on my alts. I'm going to be scooping up everything that I can get. Now, let's clear this out. That's the one week chart. And let's just jump to the DXY real quick. And it's looking very bullish. Okay. We have made it back above the 50 EMA. Here's the 50. 
And we have broken out of this box that I talked about a couple of videos before. We have a very bullish cross about to happen right here on the oscillators with the MACD. And we have made it back to the zero line on the histogram. And the stochastic is pointing straight up. Now notice this. When we got to the bottom of this stochastic here, look at the low point. It was in the box and it was a higher low. So we had this uh, bottom here. And then we had a double touch here. And what happened? Well, this was our uh, bottom test channel. And we made it out of it. And we made it back to this next point where we had resistance in the channel before. And we broke resistance here. And it became support here. And now we're flying out of it. So if DXY continues on this ROP and completes this cycle and completes this cycle where the oscillators do cross over and start to shoot up, then we're going to get our final capitulation event on Bitcoin and find that bottom. So that's what it's looking like from my standpoint of what I can see. Post your thoughts in the comments. Do you think we're going to revisit 14,000 and change as the absolute bottom? Or do you think that we're going to go downstairs and test 11 to 12,000? I'd love to hear your thoughts. But uh, I would love it if you would like, comment, and subscribe to the Crypto Pro channel. And if you would like to help defray the cost of me producing this channel, you may do so with the submission of a super thanks. And I thank you in advance for your support. That's all I've got for now. This is Carlton, and I am out.